Sometimes in algebra, you're given two equations at the same time. It can be useful, especially when plotting graphs, to find out at what value of x and y both of the equations are true together. With graphs, we can use this to find out where two lines intersect or cross over. Let's look at these two equations. There are two ways we can find out at what x and y values both of these equations are true. The first method is called elimination. We're going to subtract one equation from another so that we get rid of the x variable and have only y left. Then, when we solve for y, we can plug it back in and find x. Are you keeping up? Let's try it. We can multiply everything in the first equation by 2, so that we have 4x plus 2y equals 24. Now, we subtract the second equation from the first, term by term. 4x minus 4x is 0. 2y minus 3y is negative 1y. And 24 minus 4 is 20. So we have negative 1y equals 20. Ugh, so close. If we multiply both sides by negative 1, we get y equals negative 20. Whew, sweet. So let's plug that y value back into one of our equations. It doesn't matter which one because if they're both true, then they should both give the same answer. Let's take the first equation and input y equals negative 20. So 2x minus 20 equals 12. And now we solve for that mysterious x value. Remember bed mass? Division comes before subtraction. We divide both sides by 2, giving x minus 10 equals 6. Then we add 10 to both sides, so that x equals 16. There we have it. The two equations are both true when x equals 16 and y equals negative 20. Let's try the second method, substitution. We'll do it again with the same two equations. With substitution, we solve an equation for one variable, say y, and then plug that into the other equation. It's simpler than it sounds. I promise. Pick an easy variable to solve for. The y in the first equation is on its own, so we'll solve for that. Subtracting 2x from both sides, we get y equals 12 minus 2x. Now we can plug this solution for y into the second equation. That way we just have x's. 4x plus 3 times 12 minus 2x equals 4. We'll need to expand that bracket first by multiplying everything inside of it by that 3. Now we've got 4x plus 36 minus 6x equals 4. We'll just tidy things up a bit here by putting those x's together, giving negative 2x plus 36 equals 4. Now we need to divide everything by that pesky negative 2, giving x minus 18 equals negative 2. And then we'll add 18 to both sides. How about it? We got x equals 16. Same answer as before. Phew. Now is the moment we're going to plug in x equals 16 into one of the equations to see that y equals negative 20. Remember, Elimination means we subtract one equation from another to make one of the variables disappear. We can multiply one of the equations by some number to make this easier. Substitution means we solve one equation for one variable and then plug the bulky answer into the other equation to solve for the other variable. Easy peasy.